else. The picture does not necessarily get a lot clearer when you try to go through this and figure out how gun legislation might make a difference. And in part, that's because of what the president has targeted with this along with the Democrats. For example, we've heard a lot of talk about this idea of going after a ban on some kind of so-called assault weapons. Many voters would say this is a no-brainer. They've heard about Colorado. They've heard about Connecticut. They've seen guns like this associated with very big bad headlines and they say, why not just get rid of them? Well, here's the issue there. Would you really make the big difference you would like to make? Even people who are very much in favor of gun control. Let's bring in more guns, rifles, and shotguns over here. If we were to take all the rifles over there and all of these guns combined and put them all together, those rifles would account for only 4% of this big number up on the wall over here. Let's swap that out and go to shotguns. Look at this. Another 4%. So the problem is, even if you go after these types of weapons, all these long guns over there, you're still going to only touch less than 10% of the homicides that were created in a, sim in a single year. So what do you have to do? If you really want to go after the number of gun deaths and you think that gun legislation is a way to do that, you almost certainly have to talk about these handguns. Because the truth is, this is the weapon of choice when somebody wants to kill somebody else in this country. 72% of all of the gun killings in this country happen with handguns. So the bottom line is, when the president talks about public support, and there is a lot of public support, the question is, what policy is that support really aimed at, and is that the policy that could actually make a difference?